Welcome to Let's Not Play World of Warcraft. Thank you for watching. Um, this is Terra. It's a game that went free to play. Yeah, this is pretty much all you need to know about that. So this is a topic I could go on for years about, and I'm gonna in this video. It's This is gonna be a year-long video. Um, I put a lot of time into the game, and I enjoyed most of that time. I, I, I'm a fan of WoW. I'm not gonna look back on it bitterly. I don't, don't want to do that. I feel like there are enough people going like, I wasted my life, you know, I gave this game my best years. And it's like, well, you gave your game, the game your best years, probably because you had nothing better to do. And, well, that's, you know, that's rough, man. But that's just how it is. You didn't have anything better to do with that life, so you played a video game. I, I don't think you should be bitter about it. Be proud about it. Um, you know, because I had great times in WoW. I had great t I have great times in all these games. And a, a lot of people want to just bemoan it. Like, you know, like the time they spent, the investment of time, it wasn't worth it in the end. You know, because they can't carry fucking their glaives of Azanoth into real life or something. It's like, well, no shit. You know, like what's learning to paint give you a bunch of paintings, you know, you can't go and eat them. That's not an excuse to not learn how to paint. And, you know, it's people, people ask like, well, isn't this a waste of time? Why would you want to do this? Why would you want to do this? I'm pointing at the screen. I'll tap on it. Why would I want to do this? You know, I paid for this made up, but I had fun playing this character. I, she has um, a freaking swimsuit outfit too um, and I, I paid money for that why would you want to do that why would you want to be invested um, what is there of worth in this you know is there any worth here oh god she's floating in the air now and I, I argue that there is because it's really fun it's in enjoyable thing. Oh, I can't do it in this outfit. I have to do the normal dance. So, you know, it, there is something of value here. And people want to deny it, but, but these games have, and especially WoW, had a huge community, a lot of people you could meet, and it's the same the thing in WoW that makes people fall in love with it and makes it fun is the same thing why people love going outside, because there's so many people. And, you know, I'd argue that generally you meet more people in WoW than you will in, uh, real life. Because, you know, people aren't alienated. People tend to speak their minds. And it doesn't always come off great. But, you know, I, I had a lot of fun in the game. And I, I did get bitter about it for a point. But, you know, I've kind of made peace with it. The more I play free-to-play games and the more I realize, you know, it, it wasn't Blizzard that made me like WoW. You know, they, they contributed, certainly. And I don't want to go and just praise WoW, because I think, you know, mistakes were made with it, and I think a lot of the success was right time, right place, which happens, you know, fucking believe it. And it's, it's an okay MMO that had huge pros with its population, and that there's a lot of content. And Terra, I think... Oh god, they just added the first raid, and this game's been out for more than two years in the US, and god, even longer in Korea, and there was very little content in the Korean version, because that's how Korean games are. Um, the content is slow, and there's not much of it, and you slog through it. But, I mean, it's not just... These games are not just some of their content. And, um, so before I really... That's just the foreword there, you know? I feel like Blizzard did not do the game the best it could have, but on the other hand, I'm not going to fish about how my time was wasted or my life was ruined or anything, because it wasn't. I enjoyed it, you know? It's it's not like I consented. I wanted it. I wanted WoW to, you know, bend me over. I got it, and it was great. It was everything I could imagine. Um, 
So, you know, that's it. I loved the game, and I had a lot of fun with it. So, th there are a lot of other commentaries on WoW out there, especially now, with the fucking... God, I can't concentrate with her voice going, let's just walk around. Um, with the... Huh, the the sub loss and everything. A lot of, everybody has their own ideas about it. I mean, you could go watch those commentaries. This is more general commentary about kind of Blizzard's attitude and sort of the what what contributed to me quitting the game and why you know you probably shouldn't go into it if you want an MMO. Um, so, all right, and I just sort of fell out of love with the game, I guess. And what I what I'm talking about, I'm just gonna work chronologically backward, mainly because I forget some of the older things. Um, so recently they made this patch 5.4, right? And everyone was excited for this big feature, which was an unannounced feature. Someone had hinted at it. So people are speculating because they love the game. They love the game. So they wanted to speculate. They wanted to think, what could this great feature be that we'll love so much? And Ghostcrawler made a tweet about it. And he's um, he's like, well, and, and in response to someone, he's like, I, I think we should pretend the unannounced feature was canceled. It took on a life of its own and can never live up to the hype. And then he said, I'm doing a drank, drank shot on unannounced feature rumor speculation 5.4 has many exciting features just pick your favorite and that's and call it that sorry the, my screen's broken because i punched it so it's hard to read and also bashyok uh chimed in by saying pick the feature as gross caller said pick the feature in 5.4 you like best and that's the big expansion feature there's a few so i mean this irritated me. First of all, Bashyok blocked me because um, because I asked him if they're never gonna hype a feature again or if they'll just try to live up to expectations next time, and he didn't appreciate that. But it, you know, the question is valid, I think, because this is what happens when you make a game with eight million players who who you know a lot of people who play it hate it like i was saying before people who really disdain their time but they still play the game so not everyone loves it but a lot of players do love the game and a lot of players are really excited for the game and they like mmos and they like um the things you can achieve in an mmo and you know the, these guys are basically saying like well can your love and excitement because uh you're you're gonna be disappointed and it, that, that just rubbed me the wrong way, you know? Um, it's like, just pick whatever feature you like best. That's your big feature, you know? You, that's your, if you like the feature, then that was your big feature. That's the big feature, you know? If you like a video game, that's your killer app. You can't call it a killer app or not. That's a little, a little too much. Uh, you know, and it, this actually got me thinking about, like, thinking a little conspiratively, because, um, they, they were so tight-lipped, and they had a, um, transfer sale, like, so, so for server transfers, you pay for a server transfer, wow, they, they were doing them 50% off from June 4th to June 10th. Then, one of the features in this patch, they introduced server merges. So basically, they had server merges in this patch, and I think that was the feature they were gonna announce. But they're like, well, maybe it's not good to announce server merges right after we did a promotion to encourage people to transfer to different servers, and now we're going to merge servers. And, of course, they've dressed up the server merge and this I idea that it's some um, virtual merge, but it's... You know, for all intents and purposes, it's a merge. That's because a lot of people feel like merging servers is some kind of uh, death knell for these games. I highly disagree with that. So, so much for that. You know, I don't know. And I mean, it wasn't super sinister or anything, but it's just like disrespectful to the community a little, you know? And. 
obviously our MMO players, you know, need our fucking self-respect, right? So, and, and they had, you know, they have had other such disrespectful exchanges. So, uh, there's an ability in WoW called Heroic Leap, which basically lets you leap, like, farther than you normally jump. Um, now, you can't go up hills with it. Now, what I mean to say is, you know, you could go up a hill like this, I think. I haven't played in a while, but, but other steeper hills you can't get up, even though you could walk up them. Like, if you see this rock, you know, you can... You can't quite get on it. So this is what happens in while you're, you know, the the cursor, it, the skill won't work, or it'll only jump you to like say here, or something like that. So people had a problem and are like, well, why can't we have that? And Ghostcrawler again, he's like, well, it's a technical limitation because people were leaping up walls, and out of battlegrounds. So they were explaining. He, he puts the hashtag. This is why you can't have nice things. And they use that hashtag tag quite a bit. And the, the implication of that hashtag is, of course, that, like, well, if players, if every player would behave himself and not exploit our game, which is, you know, has, we, we claim has 8 million active subscribers, then we could do cooler things. But because people exploit the game, we can't do the cool things we want to do. Again, that's, like, a little disrespectful because it's almost like... You know, we're paying you, 8 million people are paying you roughly 14 bucks a month. They like to b brush that off, like, oh, well, a lot of Chinese people just play with game cards. Well, then don't count them in subs, you assholes. Um, so, it's just, just like, and it would have been probably an easy fix. I don't know, but the, the idea that, like, you know, it's just, well, it's the player's fault that... You know, it's just the player's fault, so they, they, you have to deal with it. You can't, you know, you can't have it, you can't have nice things, because you're such a bastard for playing our game and paying for it and loving it. And it just irritates me. Um, you know, and, and prior to that, there was a issue. And I really am going over everything here, because I, I feel like Blizzard's a disrespectful company, and that's why I stopped playing. I'll get to my personal story maybe like 50 minutes from here. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's not a joke, man. So, um, this next issue, so they had these things in the game called daily quests, right? I'll try to speed this up a little. Yeah, my, my Ellen here is, is, is encouraging me. Okay, so I should cheer. Like, look at that. How would you not um, want to pay 30 bucks for this outfit? So, um... Ah, <laughs> oh, God. So, uh... I said I'd speed up, but I lost my train of thought. So, basically, you had a daily quest. You could do 20 a day, and they were a way to deal with the rep. Like, in these games, there are factions. You build up rep with them, which is, like, your reputation, your trust. And then you go and get rewards from them when you hit the highest reps. I hope she's not too loud here, but she didn't seem too loud when I tried it. So, she's too loud, you'll figure it out, viewer. Um, so, you had a limit of 20. And, you know, doing all 20 of them, it could be, like, 20 hours of gameplay. And it was just to grind up the monotony of grinding mobs. Like, because the way, you know, if you're complete dimwit, the way an MMO works is, like, you go out, and you go into the world, and you go and you kill a monster, and the monster does things. He may give you reputation, he may drop gold, and sometimes... Unless you're level capped, he'll give you experience. So you go and you do that, and you do it over and 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 over to level up a rep, or at least you did in Classic WoW. Then in Burning Crusade, they introduced daily quests, and they stayed with us until ICC. And there was always a 20 quest limit, because, you know, they figured that's about as much as you ought to do every day. That was the idea, was just to limit people from, discourage people from automating the quests, discourage people from playing 24 hours a day, which people would do. And then what they did in Pandera is they removed this limit. And, you know, 
they kind of did it in a a little bit of a watch what you wish for way in that they removed the limit and they made reps take way more dailies and they made the daily quests not more involved but just made more of them so you would be you know if you wanted to max out all your reps as quickly as possible you were putting in work days just for daily quests and that's discluding raiding and that's discluding crafting and gathering crafting materials and various other modes of play so like yeah here here's one of the things and like if i wanted rep i'd kill this guy or here these guys would be easier so i'd go and i kill these guys you know right and they give me rep and i just do it over and over and over again and that is mmos um, so instead of doing that, you could do a daily quest, which will say, hey, kill 20 of these guys, and then we'll give you a rep bonus at the end as if you killed 40. But normally, when you don't kill, and if you normally kill them, you don't get anything. So that's the idea here, is that, um, that there's some added value, and people aren't burning themselves out by grinding mobs. So... In Pandera, they kind of went back to that thing where rather than grinding mobs, you're grinding these daily quests, and it wasn't very enjoyable. But, prior to this, people had said, well, there's nothing to do in your game, Blizzard, GG. And, I mean, all this whole thing was um, missing was a be careful what you wish for hashtag. You know, players spent a lot of time complaining and then they implemented something to, to force them to play more and it wasn't really enjoyable and um okay now we're going back to our around why i quit which was the addition of looking for ray now this was a system basically in your older games like everquest uo original wow you'd have to walk to a dungeon or a raid instance get a party of people outside of the raid just talk to them Gowns all go in the raid. So they did that with dungeons. And it was not so bad because dungeons were very easy at the time. Then they made dungeons harder and the system failed because people couldn't do it because they were people who were queuing up and had no idea what to do. They got in the queue for the dungeon and they didn't know what to do about it. And they didn't care to learn because they wanted the quickest experience. They wanted to be in and out. So then they made that for raiding, and raiding was always considered the end game for World of Warcraft. It was the most important thing, was to raid. Then, you know, you'd have the same thing in raiding, and of course, it had to be an easier difficulty. It wasn't very challenging. So, you know, that that is what got me, because at that time, I was trying to raid, and we were trying to do 10 mans and 25 mans, and the people just weren't there anymore, because every a lot of people who you can normally get into your raid, and they may not be as good players as you, they may not be as motivated or interested, but you could kind of, like, help them out and get them up to the level to where they could raid and they could see tougher content, you know, and it was fine, but now those people might as well just run LFR, because LFR lets you see the content. You're still killing the bad dragon you know there's no difference people don't think there's a difference and it's true to a point you know because the game has sort of this implicit idea that that um you know you're there to go on a quest and kill this bad guy monster and even if you kill him on easy mode you still wow wolfie's still on this damn server is he That's funny. So, um, yeah, but this is... This is what the games are. They're like this social, interactive, virtual world with various objectives of varying difficulty and uh, multiple avenues and choices. And you can do all kinds of stuff. You can do all kinds of stuff. Like, I want to start talking to these people. I want to start talking about them doing a video.
So, so like it's 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 a virtual. It's so many things. These games are so many things. I feel like it's unfortunate that certain developers try to force them into this experience where you can access everything. I can't access everything. I need to put in some work in Terra right now if I wanted to raid or something, but I don't want to raid. I probably want to do some dungeons and fart around and uh, dress my dress my character up like a maid. Like, that's it. Um, I quit WoW because raiding became more difficult because we had less people to do it, and we had a lot of people in our guild who didn't want to play the game and didn't enjoy raiding, but did it for a lack of anything else to do, you know? And, and that's partially a problem with the subscription model nowadays when there are a lot of free-to-play games i can log into neverwinter and i can log into and just like wolfie said neverwinter isn't bad at all pwi just kind of blows lol wags his tail i can log into terra and i could just you know walk around oh it's pretty there's ambient noise and my ellen can dance i'll probably get back into this game um, it's it's just the sub model nowadays is is a big reason of why World of Warcraft doesn't measure up I think and on top of that it, it does bad things to the community where you have people who don't want to play I had people in my guild who who would joke about like throwing a raid because they didn't want to do it so this one person personally did not want to raid and they'd be like well we'll see how far we can get they couldn't do hard mode more chalk they couldn't heal it and it's like, I fucking healed that fight on my alt. And granted, it was a priest, but you could do it. You could overcome. You could work. I mean, disabled people play the game. There are blind people who play the game at a very high level. The games are not super difficult um, because if they were super difficult, they couldn't support such a massive group of players. You know, I was... I think we were the 853rd guild to kill Spine of Deathwing, and then I quit. In the U.S., not not worldwide, in the U.S., so it's not really an impressive number. But it just, that means that, you know, there were thousands of guilds out there doing this content, and guilds are anywhere from, you know, at least 10 people to do a raid to, you know, three 300 people could be in a guild. So, you know, there are all these people doing that content, and a lot of them don't want to do it, but they, they have a lack of other things to do. So, you know, this is an awful video, and let me apologize if you got all the way to the end, but, you know, in short, a World of Warcraft is just sort of yesterday's news, and it had a lot of fun times to be taken out of it, but now... It's just lacking something. It's a very, it's a very World of Warcraft style game, and that's that's used as negative stuff anytime a new game comes out, whether it's too much like World of Warcraft. But um, you know, it's it's just that way where it's a big focus. You quest to level up, then you do dungeons and raids, and then the game is sort of tapped out. That's what you have left to do. You have dungeons and raids, and raiding goes from LFR, which is like basically you could sleep your way through it, to normal, where you can kind of half-ass your way through it, to hard mode, where you really have to bust your ass, except then they implement nerfs so the people who are on the higher upper end of normal content can break into hard mode content. And um, that's kind of the way they do it. And they do it that way almost every time. I haven't played a lot of Pandera, um, but it's I'm pretty sure it's similar. And I mean, in short, you know, Blizzard just, just doesn't respect, respect or value their players. And they, they kind of have this golden child attitude where they can do no wrong. But it's obvious they're doing things wrong, and they don't know how to deal with it. They have um, led these charmed lives, basically, with Diablo 2 and Warcraft and World of Warcraft. They've led really charmed lives, and now reality's hitting, and they, they don't like it. And 
you know, who can blame them? That's why we play these games, is to escape reality. But I don't think World of Warcraft is a game you ought to play. And if you're playing it right now, you know, really evaluate how much fun you have in it. And then try a game like Terra. Try a free-to-play game. Try uh, Knights of the Old Republic, which is really fun if for nothing than being a sort of communal single player experience you could share with a friend. Try those games and see if you don't have more fun. I think you're gonna have more fun in any game other than WoW, especially if you've been playing it a long time, because you're probably burnt out. And if you don't have fun, if you love WoW and just love it, then great, keep playing it, because you're the kind of player that game needs right now. But. Um, I think if you play WoW, you know what I'm talking about. There are people who don't like the game, yet feel an obligation to play it because they feel like they'll miss out on something if they stop paying in and go play something else. But, um, you know, I, th I think people need to step away from it. I think they have to let it go. And I'm glad I did. I haven't had a desire to play the game again. Um, my guild kind of wanted me back because I am, you know, despite uh, what, what it may come off as I'm competent, you know, at least in World of Warcraft. And I just had no desire to get back into it. You know, there were some things in Pandera I got. Uh, there were some items I wanted. I got those items, and I just leave them on my character. Maybe I'll come back next expansion. Who knows? Why not? I mean, it's 15 bucks. It's not the end of your life. You know, are you going to play any other $60 AAA game for four months? Probably not. But unfortunately, there's a lot of people in WoW who are made miserable by the game. And those people won't stop, you know? Give it a try and see if you like it or don't. But I, I'd say I don't think you're going to like it. I don't think if you're new to MMOs, it's a good experience. I don't think if you played a lot of MMOs, it's a good experience because there's about one thing to do, and that's pretend you're a top world player and play the game like that because raiding casually is a train wreck. It doesn't work well because no one cares, and you just have to pretend like you're a top-end player, sort of, you know, and I, I always felt I played the game very casually, but I wanted to at least top my server, and people didn't understand that, you know, and I, I thought it was a fine way to play the game, and there were people in the guild who agreed with me, and that's kind of it you know you could go in there and find people who agree with you and play with them and have a lot of fun but chances are you'd have fun with those people in any other game and you might want to try that you know might want to try a free-to-play game might tr want to try a, some goofy online game payday is fun a lot of a lot of cooperative games are just fun because they serve as a good conducive social interaction medium or whatever whatever some asshole with a uh, better YouTube account than me would say so I don't know don't play World of Warcraft play something else play Terra um, don't play the new Ragnarok online because it's awful play Knights of the Old Re or the Old Republic play anything anything else I just don't think you'll have much fun with WoW. And if you do play it, really reevaluate what you're doing. It may not be a waste of time for you, but it, it may not be the best way to spend your time. You know, you, you may just be a little too attached to something that you just don't like anymore. It's okay to step away from the game. It really is. And even if you're still paying money, stepping away from the game, picking up something else. I mean, I think you'll see a big change, and I've done that multiple times over my, uh, god, career with this game. Uh, and I, I think you should give it a try. Step away, try something else, because right now they're having a lot of trouble. It's hard to compete against free, and they need to figure out how they're going to compete against free and, and really show that they're giving you $15 of added value, you know, because I don't think it's there. And they have cash shops too, that's the crazy thing. They have cash shops and they sell mounts and they want 15 bucks a month. They just uh, want a lot of revenue and it is reflected in the game, but there's a question of if you'll see that, if you'll see that content or if you'll just puss out, do it on LFR and be done with it and just sort of spoil it for yourself and have no real sense of accomplishment. I mean, maybe you will have a sense of accomplishment. Maybe that's who the game's for now, and whatever. Congratulations. 
um, if you love LFR and you have a lot of fun with it. I mean, I hope somebody does, because I didn't. And I'm, I'm moving again a little into the bitter category, but whatever. Uh, don't play the game. This video is going to be way too long. Sorry. Bye.